They're cooking up a plan to take the food truck industry by storm. Young Tulsa entrepreneurs hope to bring a unique and trendy idea to the Pearl District. Only on 2, 2 News reporter Patricia Santos reports. In a few weeks, the Pearl District will boast of having the first food truck court in the city. This is a vent hood, which, you know, helps suck up the fumes. Mitch Neely traded his accountant office for a food truck. Everything's going to be made from scratch, so it's going to be restaurant-quality food, just at a cheaper price. And I've got uh, two range burners and a steam table. Parked right next door is Philip Phillips, who gave up his musician's gig for a shot at something he's also naturally talented in, cooking. I have a background in Asian cooking, and we knew that we could do it, so we came back and started working on recipes and marinades and discovered that we can make in a pretty incredible bun me. They're eager to get the wheels rolling on their new business, but they're even more excited about opening up the first food truck court in Tulsa, an inspiration they picked up from larger cities. It's essentially like a restaurant where you have where you have different options of food, and you know it's going to be more fun than a restaurant because there's you know no white tablecloths or anything like that. It's just going to be outdoor seating, um, awnings. You know, like I said, we're going to show movies and. Uh, Maybe get a fire pit or something like that. They've set their sight on this corner lot at 6th Street and South Quincy Avenue. Four food trucks will be parked here daily, all offering different menus. What I see is a miniature 6th Street in Austin, and this is our own little 6th Street in Tulsa. We want to make it a kind of a community where people can come and hang out. Along the way, they also plan to put the brakes on the negative rap food trucks get. We hope to change the perception that Tulsa has of food trucks because we are very health conscious, sanitary people that want to give you very exciting food. Now there's still a lot of work that needs to be done to the lot, but the owners hope to have the grand opening in a few weeks and we'll keep you posted on that. Reporting for Midtown, Patricia Santos, 2 News works for you. New tonight, will your computer be able to connect to the internet tomorrow?